Welcome to ELS News. I'm Abdurrahman. I'm Takeru. Uh, today we will begin with a quick look at the weather here in Indianapolis. Hello everyone. Welcome to ELS News. Today's weather is cloudy with the humidity at 70%. The high temperature is 90 Fahrenheit and the low is 85 Fahrenheit. But it will change soon. A huge weather system is coming from the west. Stay around and we will take a look in 10 minutes. Also, the Olympics are going on in Rio. Here's Banda with a preview of sports. Very interesting day with a lot of sports news. And in the 11 news, don't miss your last chance to see the red hot boys in blue in August against Rio FC next weekend. And the big sporting event is the 2016 Rio Olympics. A young boy who took a picture with his hero Michael Phillips 14 years ago becomes a big rival of Phillips this year in Rio. More about that later in Sport News. Don't go away. Last night on the canal in Indianapolis, there were two deaths and six injured in a murder. More on that is our reporter Harry. Police are searching for a 35 year old man in connection to a candle war shooting that killed two people and injured six people. The shooting after a Saturday night on the popular walkway burned the suspect without a weapon and began firing into the crowd. Here is witness. Alright, we were on the walkway canal walk when we saw a tall man. He began randomly shooting people while he was running. Everybody was screaming and fleeing. I hid behind the elephant statue by the state museum. The walkway looked like hell. It was so scary. In a studio. Thanks, Harry. Many people are going nuts over Pokemon Go, which was made by Nintek and Nintendo. People can be one of Pokemon Master who try to find all of Pokemon. You need to walk and capture many Pokemon through the smartphone monitors. The application was a huge hit all over the world. The number of users as many as Twitter users. Also, in Indiana, many Pokemon Masters go to the canal to get real Pokemon. The world is changing with Pokemon Go. Abdurrahman went to the canal yesterday. Let's hear two opinions about Pokemon Go. Do you play Pokemon Go? No, I have not played Pokemon Go. Oh, why? Don't play. Well, there are many reasons for me to not play Pokemon. For example, if I play Pokemon, I think I'm going to Attics. And then I, I will have no time to study my, my English. So my, my purpose to I want to apply to university so so I have to focus on my study. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. So uh, when did you start playing Pokemon? Um about a month ago. A month ago? Yeah, right after it started. Oh do you play every day? Uh, just yeah. about, yeah. <laughs> and do you think it's become an addiction to you? Um for me, I don't think so, but I can see where it could become an addiction for people. Uh, just knowing how people can get with things, so I don't know about them. But. Yeah. You, you two guys? I mean, it's definitely something that um, you know can consume a lot of people's time. Um, and if you let it become an addiction to you, then definitely yes. But uh, for me, I feel like I'm able to control where, like, I don't need, I don't feel the urge to have to go outside and go catch Pokemon. It's just something to do while you're out. For me, so, um, I'm not skipping out of work to go catch Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. Jincon is in Indianapolis. Takiru went there on Saturday. We are in Jenkong. Is that Robin Hood? Hi, hi, where's your question? I'm Mr. Incredible. I'm here with my wife and kids who are going as the whole Incredibles family. Oh, good. They're coming every year? Most years, yeah. Okay. It's a fun crowd to just go wander around it's and people so, watch. It's so amazing. So, what do you think of Jenko? Oh, I love it. It's a great chance to get everybody together and just fill Indianapolis with some nerds for a while. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. Yep. Take care. 
I'll take a look at one famous person who came to Indianapolis. Donald Trump took part in Gen Con because he also likes to play games. He really enjoyed it and communicated with many people who like to play games. A gamer who was streaming his hunting experience on Twitch accidentally fell into a pond. In other gaming news, a man quit his job in order to catch all the Pokemon. He was barista and bartender. But now, he has quite all of that noise to travel around and try to catch all 250 Pokemons. In other local news, last week, students are back to school. Most of elementary school started since last week and this week. On the other hand, university and college will start by the end of August. Students are going to go to school until next June. First semester goes until December. So I hope students could have a good time in school and keep enjoying your summer vacation for university students and college students. Anyway, don't forget your homework. Moving to international news, there was a terrorist attack in Nice, France. Let's go over to Kuyu with more on that. In July 14, a man threw a truck to attack the people who were watching the National Day fireworks in Nice 84 people were killed and more than 100 people injured. In another news, there is a new information on a Malaysia airplane crash. The experts said there is one, only one reason the airplane crashed. Someone caused it to crash. The captain, the captain used the flight simulator to simulate the flight path to similar to the path which the Malaysia airplane flew. It doesn't prove that the captain caused the crash, but it is possible. The investigation is ongoing. This is Kuyo Chen. Let's go back to the studio. Thanks, Kuyo. In our next segment, we will look at what's happening in the world of politics.
Check here. Are you tired of being ignored by girls? You want to have a girlfriend? Girl Cap is your savior. That's it. What? You should try it. Do you really like Takeru? You should buy it. How much is it? It's one heart, heart, heart dollars. It's good deal for you. If you have an interest in Super Cap, please call us. And now, buy one get two. You should buy it. For find your Super Cap. Welcome back. President Obama is visiting the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here is Majid with more on that. President Obama visited King Salman in Riyadh this week. The King of Saudi Arabia is talking about peace with Obama of religion. They want to eliminate ISIS and the United States want to help the GCC partners. Agree that a new constitution and free election in Iraq and Syria would help to end the war. This is Majid al Harbi. Let's go back to Sidi. Thanks, Majid. In other political news, Donald Trump made news again. Here is Ken with more on that. Can you talk about the, uh, Mr. Trump's idea? Um, What's your opinion? Essentially, from, from what I understand, is that Donald Trump would like to ban Muslims. Um, he uh, he um, wants to do so because he uh, wishes to um, do this in response to what he calls radical um, Islamic terrorism. Um, I think that the general uh, opinion of a lot of Americans is that that's a very extreme um, view and a very extreme measure to take. Uh, many of us here in America, especially um, in this city, have uh, very close friends who are Muslim, and uh, we we think that um, you know, um, I guess a, a blow to the diversity that makes us so amazing would be really bad for us so that's why we're, we stand here and uh you know protest trump um in his presidency um because we uh we uh want to celebrate the diversity um of our of our immigrant popula population okay you're talking about uh, mr trump's idea why what's your opinion my opinion is this country is built on freedom and people coming in but we also with the state of the world today the proper vetting needs to be done just we can't have open borders mm -hmm. like across Rio Grande people are just allowed to just come across they've proven that many many times that drug dealers illegal aliens they just come across the border anybody can come across our southern border and the refugees just don't need to come here with just a blank check they mm -hmm. just they need to be vetted we need to know who they are where they were I mean we, Back in early 1900s or late 1900s and excuse me, late 19th century and early 20th century, all our immigrants come through Ellis Island. We turn 40% of those away. People that couldn't afford to stay here, people who couldn't afford to make it, didn't have any visible means of support. People who were sick, they were turned away and sent back to their home country. Yeah. Was it right? No. Was it the right thing to do? But it, we did do it. It, it is part. It is a precedent that we have set. <laughs> Donald Trump on Tuesday said that he called to bar all Muslims from entering the United States. He saw it was a temporary solution in response to terrorism. However, many people object to Mr. Trump's proposal. A opponent of Donald Trump argued that. Mr. Trump's proposal is not an American value that will only cause racial trouble. In addition, supporters of Trump said that they commended Mr. Trump for focusing America's attention on the defense of our homeland. This is Ken. Now back to you. Okay, we will go back to the weather. Zara and Tyler, could you tell us what's going on in the weather? Heavy rain this week and the west coast flooded. 
Unfortunately, 20 people have been killed and 50 people are missing in Los Angeles, California. Neighborhoods are completely sinking and cars nearly disappearing. With more on this story, here is Tahira in Los Angeles. Yes, Tahira, hello. You hear me? Tahira. Yes, yes, Zahra. Zahra, yes, I can hear you. As you can see, I am standing here in what used to be the neighborhood of a Britain wall. Look around, all I say are the types of homes that have been swallowed up by, the, by a giant sinkhole. To do so much rain here in the past couple of weeks, sadly, this news is nothing compared to the family who have lost their loved ones. That flooding is by a far more the uh, by a far the worst strategy LA has seen in a really long time. Back to you, Zahira. Moving to the local forecast, today's weather is sunny with 79 degrees. Monday will be cloudy and the high temperature will be 78. And the low will be 62. Tuesday and Wednesday will be cloudy with highs of 75. And lows will be the mid of 50. Thursday and Friday, the temperature will be higher, close to 80, and the lows will be around 56. By the weekend, the high temperature will be 81, and the low will be 56. No rain in this forecast. Coming up, breaking news in entertainment. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Lindsay Lohan and Justin Bieber are making headlines. Let's go to Isan and Muhammad for more on that. Lindsay Lohan lying about her pregnancy. Lindsay Lohan says that she's, she's pregnant, but we found out that she's lying. If Lindsay Lohan is really pregnant, why is, why is she smoking and drinking what looks like uh, alcohol? Really, Lindsay? Some people saw her smoking and drinking alcohol in Italy. When we asked her father, he said that he doesn't have a reason to not believe in her. Now, the question is, if she's expecting, why is she drinking and smoking? Justin Bieber falls down in a concert. That must have been embarrassing. And now, more on that with our reporter, Ethan. Justin Bieber fell into a hole during a concert two months ago. Yesterday he did it again. He gave us a great lesson by this fall that we need to take great rest every once in a while. Yesterday in a concert, Justin Bieber fell down for the second time this year. I think that he needs some practice how to stand firm on stage. This is Ethan Chen reporting live from downtown Indianapolis. Now back to the studio. Six flags in the Middle East? Who would have believed that? Believe it or not, Six Flags is really coming to the Middle East. And to be specific, it's going to be in Dubai. Dubai Parks and Resorts announced on July 3rd, 2016, 
the gr that ground has been broken to Six Flags Dubai. It's scheduled to be open uh, in late 2019. Hey, that's gonna be fun. That's it for uh, entertainment news. Back to you, Takero. Is she pregnant or not? Who knows? But a trip to Six Flags sounds good. After the break, let's talk sports. Election. Very good, Mohammed. Anything else? Kuyu, do you have anything to contribute? Uh, sorry, Jindra, I don't hear you. Why? What just happened? Uh, I, so I high, asked, so. okay, looking at these pictures, what political events do these pictures show? Which one? No, he already talked about that one. The next one. Next one. So that was a good discussion about political parties and government, and that's all for today. And for tomorrow, please answer on page 199, number four. Okay. Kuyo, are you all right? No, I'm all right. I'm so tired. Why? Because I don't sleep well. Oh, I, 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 have, I have a pill that might help you, actually. Try this. Okay. Tonight, all right? Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, Mohammed. Maybe I should have it Amazing! You are my Korean? Yes! Nice! You go to school and I go back to sleep. No problems! Call now to get your call man pill. Hey guys! Today I'm going to introduce a new product. This is the magic phone bag. With the phone bag, you can carry your own stuff in the phone bag. And the use will never get too heavy or too big. This will fit right in your pocket. Come on, follow me. I will show you how to use the phone. Okay, where's your bag? Run. A lot is happening on sports these days. Bundle with more than that. It starts with India 11. You boys in the blue are better than ever, still undefeated, at home and back at top, the NASL standings. Don't miss another minute of the action at the mic. Tickets for the fifth night at Carl Stadium start at just $11, or just for $9 for college students. Continue to scrolling below to check out the seating map and pricing for tickets sections at Cairo Stadium. As we see in this picture, in the spring, Michael Phelps told me about having his picture taken with young boy in Japan 14 years ago. Well, the, that boy, Diasito, is all growing up now. He is one of Phelps' main rivals at this Rio Olympics. Phelps, your student, has become your big rival now. Watch out. This is all I have today. The Olympics will be super hot news 
for the coming days. Stay with us and see the updates. Thank you. At the end of the news, let's check the weather quickly. So we can see that this week is mostly cloudy, but it will be warmer in the end of this week. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Abdurrahman. I'm Takeru from ELS News. Have a good night.